Hi guys, this is Rishabh Kapoor from websofttutorials.com. In this video guys, we will talk about PHP include and require functions. So firstly guys, I will create a new file and I will give it the name of new file dot PHP. I will create a new PHP file and I will save it. Oops. It's a PHP file. So firstly guys, I will go to index.php file and I will write something. I write this content is coming from main file. Now I will go to browser and refresh. You can see this content is coming from main file. Now I will create, I will write something here. Right, this content is coming from external file. Now guys, with the help of include function or require function, what we can do? We can include external PHP file into our, uh, means in our file. We can add external PHP file in our current PHP file. We need to write include then to brackets and in between these two brackets we will write the name of the file it's new underscore file dot php name of the file go to browser and refresh you can see this content is coming from external file I will use a bia tag here you can see this content is coming from external file you can see because we have included it before echoing it this string out this content is coming from main file you can see guys you can also use require function you can see it will work now guys I will show you what is the difference between include and require function suppose I am writing wrong name of this file new.php but it is not here it's new file.php but we are entering wrong name means the file is not uh, file doesn't exist what will happen it will display an error message warning include new.php fail to open stream no such file or directory so you can see but it is uh, writing this content this content is coming from main file means it is executing the rest of the script but it is uh, displaying a warning message but if we will we will use require function here you will see it will display uh, an error message but it will also kill the rest of the page it means rest of the script will not execute it if you will use require function so this is the difference between include and require function means if you will use require function if the file is not uh, file doesn't exist it will kill rest of the page and the script rest of the script will not execute but if we will use include function you can see it will display the error message but rest of the script will execute now guys I will tell you the main purpose of using this include and require function so firstly guys I will remove this code and I will close this file suppose guys you are creating a website and website is of uh, near about 10 to 20 pages so the header and the footer of the website will be same so firstly I will create header divide header and of header and I'll write divide main means the content body content will be here and of main and I will create one more divide footer and of footer so I will write this is header this is footer this is main content means header and the footer of whole website will be same so I will go to browser and refresh it this is header this is main content this is footer so what we will do firstly we will create a new file and I will give it a name of header dot php it's a php file 
you can see now I will create one more file for footer so I will save it uh, with the name of footer.php and it's a PHP file so I will save it footer.php now this is our header file and this is our footer file so in the footer we will write uh, some uh, something else you can is write all rights reserved you can write anything so now guys what we will do we will take this code and we will cut it means uh, from the doc type to the header so we will take this code and we will cut it and we will paste it in the header.php file now we will take the code from the footer and I will cut it and I will paste it in footer.php file now what I will do I will use PHP tags I will write include firstly I will include header.php file header.php now we will go to browser and refresh you will see this is header now we will also include footer.php file php tags include footer.php now refresh you can see all rights reserved means this code is coming from header file and this code is coming from footer file so in this way you can use include and require functions means suppose you have website of 10 to 20 pages what you need to do you need to just create a page like about us.php save it so firstly we will uh, paste this whole code footer.php header so I will write this content is of ab about us page now we will open about us.php here about us.php you will see this content is of about us.php and the header and the footer will be same means we just need to include these files and it will work for us means we don't need to uh, means if you want to modify some f uh, content of the file you just write this is header of websoft tutorials.com you will just uh, modify your code here and it will reflect back to all the files so in this way you can use include and require functions and guys you if you will check the source code you will see the header is here in this way we can use include and require functions so in the next video guys we will talk about include ones and require fun ones function means i will tell you what is the difference between include and include ones require and require ones so guys if you still have any question you can go to my discussion forum or you can leave a comment below thanks for watching this video guys don't forget to subscribe my channel to get recent updates about my videos so let's see the next video